What are the common failures in a DC motor? The first thing we're going to look at when we get a motor in for repair is the commutator. The commutator is a section of bars that connect to a winding in the armature. This one particularly has very good commutation on it. If it had some burning or threading or the copper was wore out, the next thing I'd be looking at is the brushes. Are the brushes wore out? Do they have enough spring tension? Or is it the right proper grade? This one we know is the proper grade. The one thing we found out about this particular armature is it did have a turn-to-turn -turn short in it. After viewing that, notice that there was a burn mark on the commutator. This burn mark indicates that there was an issue. Once we've inspected the armature for potential damage, uh, we move over to the stator portion. The stator consists of a main field pole and an inner pole. First thing we're going to do is check the polarities on the, the field poles in reference to the inner poles. At that point in time, we'll go ahead and check the resistance level on the main field poles and compare it to what the nameplate may say. So this particular unit, we found essence of varnish that had broken off the inner poles from the inside and dropped down in between the armature iron and the ID of the main field iron, which impinged itself inside the motor. At that point in time, we're going to take a better look at why the varnish had broke loose. Typically, it's going to be a hot inner pole, which could possibly have caused the problem on the armature. So in summary, what we're going to be looking for is the commutation on the armature. That's the first thing that's going to give you an indication of potential issues inside your DC motor. We go, still go back to uh, the grade of brush, spring tension on the brush, and how does this brush fit the brush holder or the brush box. The next thing we're going to check is to make sure we have a good set of field coils and a good set of inner poles. After we have determined that these check good or bad, then we'll make a determination to the customer and give them a quote for a final repair.